to our domain has Google Postmaster and SNDS. When it comes to email marketing, deliverability should always be your number one priority. This is especially true when you are sending emails to customers who have an Outlook, Hotmail, Live or MSN account. With more and more consumers using these services for their daily emails, Microsoft SNDS or Outlook Postmaster offers a highly effective way to track deliverability so your campaigns are sure to reach their intended recipients every time. In this video, we will discuss how setting up Microsoft SNDS can allow you to get the most out of Outlook Postmaster and ensure that your messages make it into the inbox both safely and securely. What is Microsoft SNDS? Microsoft SNDS, also known as Outlook Postmaster or Smart Network Data Services, is a free service provided by Microsoft to help email senders monitor and improve their email deliverability to Outlook and other Microsoft email services. With Microsoft SNDS, email senders can access data on their email traffic to Microsoft email services, including information on email volume, complaint rates, and spam trap hits. This data can be used to identify any issues with email deliverability, such as high complaint rates or spam trap hits, and take steps to address them. In addition to email traffic data, Microsoft SNDS also provides access to the Microsoft Junk Email Reporting Program and the Microsoft Smart Screen Filter. The first one allows email senders to receive reports on messages that were marked as junk by Outlook users, providing insight into potential issues with email content or sending practices. Smart Screen Filter uses machine learning to analyze email content and identify potentially malicious or unwanted messages, helping to protect Outlook users from spam and phishing emails. To access Microsoft SNDS, email senders must first register and verify their domains with Microsoft. Once verified, email senders can access data on their email traffic to Microsoft email services through the Microsoft SNDS portal. Overall, Microsoft SNDS provides valuable insights and tools for email senders to monitor and improve their email deliverability to Outlook and other Microsoft email services. Data points available for Microsoft SNDS Microsoft SNDS provides email senders with several data points to help monitor and improve their email deliverability to Outlook and other Microsoft email services. And here are some of the key data points available from Microsoft SNDS. Volume. The volume data point shows the number of messages sent to Microsoft email services from the registered IP addresses or domains. This data can help email senders track their email volume over time and identify any sudden spikes or drops in volume that could affect email deliverability. Complaint rate. The complaint rate data point shows the percentage of emails reported as spam or junk by Outlook users. High complaint rates can negatively impact email deliverability, so these data point can help email senders identify and address potential issues with email content or sending practices. Spam trap hits. The spam trap hits data point shows the number of messages sent to known spam traps, which are email addresses used by ISPs to identify and block spam. High spam trap hits can indicate poor list hygiene or spammy sending practices, which can harm email deliverability. Sender reputation. Microsoft SNDS provides a sender reputation score based on a combination of the about data points as well as other factors such as email authentication and content analysis. A high sender reputation score can indicate good sending practices and help improve email deliverability, while a low score can indicate potential issues that need to be addressed. Junk Email Reporting Program Data this data provides email senders with reports on messages that were marked as junk by Outlook users. This data can help email senders identify potential issues with email content or sending practices and take steps to address them. 
These colors indicate the verdict from just one layer of Microsoft spam filtering infrastructure. If your IP address is green, it doesn't mean less than 10% of your emails are landing in the spam folder. Similarly, if your IP address is red, it doesn't mean more than 90% of your emails are landing in the spam folder. Red IP addresses can still reach the inbox and green IP addresses can still have mail sent to the spam folder. Ultra result should not be dismissed or ignored, but it should not be the single source of truth for measuring your success or failure in delivering to Microsoft mailboxes. The range of the yellow designation is huge, but only a small number of IP addresses are scored as yellow. The data provided is intentionally vague, because if it wasn't, spammers would abuse it. How to compare these stats with Wormy? In order to be able to compare the statistics obtained in Microsoft SNDS, it is best to use the deliverability checker. It will allow you to track whether emails are in the spam folder for Microsoft accounts at the moment. Try this clicking this link in the resources. The Office 365 Anti-Spam IP Delist Portal is a service provided by Microsoft to allow email senders to remove their IP addresses or domains from the Office 365 Anti-Spam Block List. When Microsoft's anti-spam filters detect suspicious or malicious activity from an IP address or domain, they may add it to their block list to protect Office 365 users from spam, phishing emails, and other types of unwanted messages. However, legitimate email senders may also be affected if their IP addresses or domains are incorrectly flagged as spammy. In such cases, email senders can use the Office 365 anti-spam IP delist portal to request removal of their IP addresses or domains from the block list. The delisting process involves submitting a request through the portal, which is then reviewed by Microsoft's anti-spam team. If the request is approved, the IP address or domain will be removed from the block list, allowing legitimate emails to be delivered to Office 365 users. To use to use this Office anti-spam IP delist portal, email senders must first verify their domain with Microsoft and ensure that their email sending practices comply with Microsoft's policies and guidelines. It is also important for email senders to regularly monitor their email deliverability and take steps to maintain a positive sender reputation to avoid being flagged as spammy in the future. Overall. The Office 365 Anti-Spam IP Delist Portal is a useful tool for legitimate email senders to remove their IP addresses or domains from Microsoft's anti-spam block list and ensure that their emails are delivered successfully to Office 365 users. As you have noticed in this video, Microsoft's SNDS service provides a valuable resource for tracking deliverability to Outlook, Hotmail, Live and MSN accounts. While this certainly isn't the only service of its kind, it can be a helpful tool when trying to ensure that your emails make it safely into these accounts. Along with monitoring general deliverability, SNDS will also alert you if any sudden changes occur with your sending IP or domain. Ultimately, using SNDS may aid in discovering any issues or email delivery discrepancies, helping you quickly adjust accordingly. In other words, Microsoft's SNDS is an essential part of managing and optimizing email campaigns to maximize deliverability potential. We hope that this video has given you some insight on how to use the data provided by Outlook Postmaster to increase your account visibility with these popular providers. Get your emails where they need to go with Wormy.io. This email warm-up service provides the best chance of success for your campaigns by ensuring maximum inbox deliverability. Don't let your emails get blocked. Use Wormy.io to give them a fighting chance and make sure they reach their intended destination. Try today and experience the difference.